I'm Danica from the Saskatoon Public Library and here's a boredom buster for today. Now I hate slime but we found a recipe for something that's more like a clay than slime and it's easy to make. Um, I'm really happy that we're on Treaty 6 territory. This is a place where people have gathered and shared stories and how to do things and, and listened to each other for tens of thousands of years. So we're really happy to be here today. So we're going to make this clay and there are only three ingredients in this clay. We have a cup of cornstarch, I'm going to pour out a half a cup of conditioner and we have some food color. So we're going to start off with the conditioner. I don't know if you can see that. Why? That's, no. Is that a half a cup? That is a half a cup of conditioner. Oh. So we're going to put that into the bowl. And this is my daughter Jasmine. And she's a little scared to be on camera. But she's 18 years old, and we're doing all kinds of fun things at home. How much should I put? Yeah, put in some and then stir it. Okay, well, I think I should put more. Okay, <laughs> stir it up. Should I? This is going to take a long time. Oh, wow, that's pretty. I hope this works. <laughs> it will work. And it smells really good because it's a, it's a coconut milk and aloe vera conditioner. So... I'm thinking that this isn't going to be hard on our hands either. Oh yeah, that's right. I think that's good. Okay, should we pour in this? <laughs> pour in some um, cornstarch now. You can oh. stir it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I don't... Oh, it's doing some weird stuff. Oh, I got it on me. It's okay, it's just cornstarch. Ready for more? No! <laughs> so oh. this is one of those things, I'm gluten intolerant, so I don't like touching flour, but yes, cornstarch no. is something that, uh, that doesn't hurt me. And this is really a, uh, I'm always careful with different crafts as to make sure that I'm, I'm not using things that might um, stir up some of our allergies, or harm us in some ways, and these are um, these are things that I sh that I trust. I use hair conditioner every couple days, and uh, cornstarch I use in some of my cookies. I make shortbread cookies at Christmas with cornstarch. More cornstarch. Do you need more cornstarch? <laughs> okay. But it's probably not as sticky as slime. No, you're right. I think we need more. A little bit more. And that's probably the reason why we need to add a little more is because the different brands of conditioner would have different content of the ingredients, different water content. It's kind of like a science experiment whenever you do something like this. You, sometimes you have to make some changes to make it work a little better. <laughs> It's actually, if you look at it, it's a really pretty kind of it looks like icing. mauve <laughs> color. And at this point, it's just a tiny little bit sticky. So we're just going to add a little bit more cornstarch. And we'll get Jazz to give it another stir. I hope this is the one. I don't think I'm strong enough. You are. You got this. I have faith in you. Is it too sticky it. still? It's too sticky? Well, you know, I think if we, here, let me do a little stir. Let me try. Oh, wait. It was a little bit not sticky for a second. I think it's really close. You did a good job here. What do you think? You want to take a handful of it? Oh, it might be too sticky. <laughs> Well, we might have to add just a little bit more cornstarch. Oh, it keeps sticking. Do you want a little bit more cornstarch? Oh, work it. You can work it in with your hands. Kind of like sometimes when you make dough, when you're making bread, and it's a little bit sticky, you put a little bit of extra flour in your hands. So it's um, it's not that bad. 
How does that work for you? I don't have enough. Maybe um, let me try some of this one. Does this one count? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, pick it up. It actually smells really good. It feels nice and soft. It's kind of silky. And super Maybe easy. Because my hands are hot. Super easy with some of the stuff that you have right in your kitchen and your shower. So thanks for watching today.